All right, now while I'm waiting for One UI 7.0 beta in my country, I have found some very important and critical information for you guys with respect to One UI 7.0. Samsung is not only trying to provide the best UI experience on One UI 7, it is also trying to focus on the security feature and make Samsung phones more secure than ever. Samsung has added some brilliant security features now on One UI 7.0 and they have described this on their newsroom as well. Samsung has added a brand new feature called Knox Metrics Dashboard, which is a blockchain-based security monitoring system. As you can see here under security and privacy, we get a brand new option called security status of your devices. When you tap on that, you will get this list of devices which are connected with your phone. When you tap on that, you will get onto this page which says Knox Metrics monitors supported devices signed into your Samsung account using a secure private blockchain. Each device can check the security status of other devices and let you know if there are any threats. All your connected devices will show up right here and if it is green check marked, there is no threats for that device. This is just brilliant, isn't it? Next, Samsung has enhanced the theft protection feature. As you can see on this image, it says checking your identity before changing sensitive settings and locking the screen when your phone is stolen can prevent a thief from accessing your apps and data. Below that, we have got these three toggles, identity check, which can be enabled or disabled, theft detection lock, which will lock your screen when the phone detects the theft. We have got offline device lock, it will lock the screen if your phone loses its network connections and we have got remote lock. If your phone is lost or stolen, you can lock the screen by entering your phone number at android.com slash lock. Under identity check, you can see it says to protect your phone when it's stolen by someone who knows your pin pattern or password, biometric authentication and a security delay will be required before changing sensitive settings. You can also set safe places such as your home or work where this protection won't apply. So if the phone has detected that the phone has been stolen, it will automatically delay the biometric authentication and the thief will not be able to change the sensitive settings. As you can see here, it shows security delay in progress. This is another brilliant feature which Samsung has added now on One UI 7.0. Then we have got passkey support for Samsung account. On One UI 7.0, we can create a passkey for Samsung account, which can be used to log in on any other Samsung devices. Then Samsung has improved the auto blocker as well with maximum restriction options. You can see we have got a couple of options like blocks 2G network, blocks auto reconnection to non-secure Wi-Fi network, and it also blocks USB connections except for charging. There are a few more options under maximum restrictions, which I'm going to discuss with you as soon as I get One UI 7 on my device. Apart from these brand new security features, Samsung has also enhanced AI, which enables more intuitive user experience. As you can see in this particular video, you get a brand new menu option now, which I'll deep dive in and explain you guys once we get it on the phone. Next, Samsung says upgraded call features with One UI 7 push the boundaries of communication and connection through call transcripts with support for 20 languages. When call recording is enabled, recorded calls will automatically be transcribed for reference later on, eliminating the need to take notes manually while multitasking. So there is a brand new feature which will live transcribe your talks on the call and saves it on the device. You can also see the live activity toggle this supports Samsung Health, Music Player, Clock, Voice Recorder, and a few more applications. And then you can see these are the brand new icons and we have got this brand new quick panel as well. And we have got a brand new camera application now with some additional controls, which I will discuss with you guys as soon as I get my hands on on One UI 7. For now, I do not have this update yet on my device in the US and maybe in Germany it has been released. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are enjoying this brand new update. But unfortunately, we haven't got it here in India. As soon as I get it, I will keep you guys posted. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.